Today we are going to make the inside of this wall clock so we can make the room ready for the furnitures and the details. The paper that I use here is some paper I have from this block with different kind of design papers inside and I liked this one so I'm going to use that for the walls. This piece I'm making here is for the back wall of this room box and then I'm going to cut two pieces more for the sides. I'm using my gleam fix to glue down the wallpapers on the walls in this little room but you can use tacky glue or paper glue as well if you want to. I cut some wood veneer into squares that is one by one centimeters big or small. I cut a piece of paper into the size of the floor in this little room and I'm going to use my wood glue to glue on these pieces of wood veneer into a pattern that I really like for the floor. After I made the whole floor, I made sure to leave it as long as it needed to dry all the way up. Then I took my flat plier and I cut off the excess wood from the sides of the paper. I sanded the floor with some fine sandpaper. And I gave it a thin layer of water-based glaze. When the floor is all dry, I am going to glue it into my little room and I'm using wood glue, but you can use paper glue or tacky glue also if you want that. Now I'm going to work on the ceiling of this little box and I'm using my structure paste and I'm going to mix some of this paste with some white paint. This way I'm sure that it's all white when I'm done. I place it in a nice layer all over the ceiling and I'm using this little fabric cloth to make some texture into it because I didn't like the way it was looking. 
I'm using my wood veneer to make some base boards around the floor. I'm cutting them into length with my easy cutter and then I'm just going to glue them down with a tiny bit of wood glue. Then I designed this window on Fusion 360 and I'm going to leave a link for you to download the STL file for it if you want to. I printed it on my 3D printer and I painted it with this silver uh, metallic paint. I placed some tape on the back side of the window and I filled up the holes with UV resin. I used an apple green and the translucent one. After hardening in the UV lamp, I pulled off the tape. Sadly, I had some holes in there, but I am going to put UV resin all over this part anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now I'm cutting the paper in the window like you see me do here and I'm going to glue it down on the edge of the window frame, let it dry and then cut off this excess paper. I made a tiny window seal that I'm gluing in so it sits right and then I'm gluing in the window on top of that. Then I make a window frame of stir sticks and I'm using my easy cutter to cut them in shape and I'm gluing them with my wood glue. I do the same thing on the inside of the window and then I leave it to dry.
I'm going to paint the outside window frame in the same color as the box has. To make it easy on myself, I'm using a post-it note that I'm placing on the window just up the frame. This way I can paint the frame without hitting the window at all. That was it for this video. The watchman's den is now ready for furnitures and the small details. We will start on that in next week. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. And happy crafting!